Hey everyone, wanted to make a quick video to outline just how easy it is to make local document-based AI models for a large language model. Uh, I'll be using GPT for all, but the process is pretty similar across a pretty wide range of different packages. Uh, so to start with, what you want to do is you want to gather a collection of documents. You'll see in the folder I have open right here, for the demonstration I'll be using some of the CFR uh, documents, that's Code of Federal Regulation. You can find these on data.gov, you can find them in a variety of places, but you'll see I put them all into a folder. Basically what I want to do with this folder is I want to go to Add Collection, browse to wherever I put that folder, and from there what I want to do is I want to have all of this be found by my application. So let me hop over to where I have this stored. It's in my OneDrive. I've got to go to my uh, teaching folder. Let me get these in a better order. So it's a little bit easier for me to find it. Go to my teaching. Go to where I put these. And essentially all I'm trying to do here is just navigate to that folder that I was just in. Okay, so this would be where I would hit open there. And that's going to begin to bring the documents in. You give them a name and you hit Create Collection. Now, I've already done that, but if I didn't, that would take quite a bit of time uh, to get to that point. Once you've got your local document collection, what you'll do is you'll hop over to Models. If you don't already have a model installed, you can go to Add a Model, and you can select one of these. There's a lot of options on here, including some of the DeepSeq open models. Pretty cool that you have access to those. Um, but I like to stick with the basic Reasoner version one. It's a pretty decent model, gives good output. So that's the main reason that I prefer it is because it's a little bit easier on system resources. So you're gonna install a model, make sure you have that installed. Then finally, you're just going to create a chat. So you're gonna go create a new chat you're going to choose one of the models that you have installed. I have Reasoner version 1. Then you go to the local documents section and you can pick maybe agricultural regulations. You can type a question out here saying something like, if I want to begin growing wheat, what do I need to know? Please cover specific regulations that are relevant to me. And this is going to go through those agriculture regulations and it's going to pull out a good summary about specifically what exactly I would need to know. And that's what it's doing right here. Uh, so it's going through using those local documents that I tied to it. It is going to give me an answer. As you can see it's talking about the different parts of the Code of Federal Regulations, where to go to find those, and some really useful stuff. So, that's how simple it is to make a local uh, AI large language model. I think you can see some of the really cool applications of that. Uh, these are open source technology. You could adapt it in a, a huge number of ways. So, I hope that's interesting to you. Definitely something I recommend playing around with, and I'll catch you in the next one.